Uh, hey guys, so I have no idea where this vlog is going to go. Usually I try and think a little bit about what I want to say, and today I'm just turning on the damn camera and talking. <clears throat> Talked about it a little bit in the past. Um, about uh, being crazy, blah, 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 you know. Granted, the, the, the term crazy is used pretty loosely, but I would say that since uh, being a teenager or whatever, um, I've certainly dealt with um, a lot of depression issues. I know for a fact that uh, my mother has suffered from uh, depression. My sister has. I know my wife has. And so it's just... It just really screws with you, or at least with me, where, you know, you, you, you use the word depressed, and you'll hear people say, oh yeah, I'm depressed, or, you know, yeah, I, I deal with depression, and blah, 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 but <clears throat> I don't know much about the levels of depression. Um, I've, I tried to talk to some doctors about it when I was younger, and, you know, all they want to do is throw you on medications. And I don't take medications well. I don't like medication. Um, so that probably doesn't help me at all. But there's times where, like, right now, my if you were to ask my wife, she'd say for about the last week I've just been in, like, an absolute funk where <clears throat> everything bothers me. Like, I'm looking at myself in this vlog right now, and I'm just, like, bothered by what I see. Right. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I need a haircut. I haven't, you can always tell when I'm depressed because I don't shave and I get really like scraggly and scruffy. Uh, and there's just, there's so much that's like right in my life right now, but yet all I can focus on is the stuff that's not, I don't even want to say right. Like the things that are going so well for me, like the YouTube thing is taking off. Yeah, fine, whatever. YouTube is not a big part of my life. So if it were to end tomorrow, I wouldn't give a shit. Um, but, you know, I have a good career, but it's not the career I want. I have, you know, a great family, but yet, you know, I'm just, everything annoys me. And it affects my relationship with my daughter. It affects my relationship with my wife. And I don't know. And so when I was younger, when I would have these manic depressive mood swings, the low side for me always went to anger. And I was able to like, usually it was behind closed doors, but I would, I would break things or I would, I would just go in these like total fits of rage and just like beat the shit out of my bed or something soft because I, you know, I didn't. I didn't want to be destructive, but I was in a very destructive mood. And so I don't know how to deal with these spots. And for the last week, I've been really trying to deal with it. And it feels like no matter what I do, uh, it just makes things worse. Where I'll try and talk about what's bothering me, but then I'll get upset, and then it turns into a fight. And <clears throat> it's like the whole time I'm thinking, just shut your mouth. But you know you need to talk about it, but... You try and talk about it and, and it just everything just goes everything just goes to shit. So then you shut down even more. And then that causes bigger problems. And then you try and talk again, but you're in a lower place than you were the last time you tried to talk. And it just nothing helps. I mean I don't I don't feel like I have like an outlet. Like I and I don't feel like it's not I, I don't feel like I have an issue where I don't have anyone to talk to because as of right now of doing this vlog, um, I've got two people talking to me about, you know, the fact that they know I'm having a hard time right now. So I have outlets, but it doesn't matter. And, and that's the thing that bothers me most is you get into a shitty place and it's almost like your brain just won't let you get out of that shitty place. And you're almost annoyed at the fact that people want to try and help you out of that because it's it's like it's like this part of you says no i'm in this shitty place and i want to stay in this shitty place i don't want your help you know i i and then you turn into i deserve to be in this shitty place and it, it, i don't even know how to explain it i don't even know how to put it in words and i know a lot of you watching right now 
are sitting there going, oh yeah, that's me. Oh yeah, I deal with that. And I don't really want to hear that. And, and if you guys are dealing with bipolar, manic depression, whatever, um, I understand it's common. But when you're in this place right now where I am, you don't care to be comforted by someone telling you, oh yeah, I do that, or oh yeah, I get there. Because I know I'm not alone in the world, and I know that I'm not unique in that aspect. But it becomes this point to where the only thing you can focus on and that you can think about is the fact that you truly just kind of feel like you don't give a shit, and it's not right. So it's I'm just really, really frustrated right now because even though everything is going very well, um, nothing feels like it's going right, if that makes any sense. And even if, if, if you were to ask me right now, okay, if you could snap your fingers and have whatever you wanted, what would you have? I can't answer that either because when you're in this place... If you deal with depression and you're depressed, there there is no there is no happy place. There's no mentally putting your mind in a spot where you could say, "Yeah, this would make me feel good." Because nothing makes you feel good. You can you could take your most favorite thing. And I, I even told my wife earlier um before we went out you know, we went to uh, a um a church gathering um on the way there, I told her, I said, I'm stopping and I'm getting coffee because it's going to make me feel better, right? Because I've talked to you guys before about the fact that my coffee is kind of like my my coping mechanism now. And, I, and I've been really cutting back on it while trying to lose the weight. So I went and I got the coffee and the whole time I'm drinking it, I'm like, this just sucks. This isn't helping either. And so... I don't really know, I, I, I know this vlog is just totally all over the place, and I'm going to probably just kick myself for even putting it online, but damn it, Jay's Two Cents is human, and as put together as I may seem, there's days where I just can't keep it together, and I think today is definitely one of those days. So, with that said, this is one of those vlogs where it's truly for me, and I, I hope to look back on this vlog later at some point and say, wow, you know, you were really low right there, but look at where you are today. I just happen to be letting you guys watch and witness it, hoping that maybe this will help someone in some way. I don't know how it could. Frankly, I, I tell my wife all the time, I don't know why you people even watch. I mean, the vlog channel's really been kind of going to shit lately. There's been nothing fun, nothing exciting. I haven't even been having anything good to say lately. And yet, you guys still subscribe. And that just boggles me like why do you guys want to see this right i don't know but i hope i mean this has been a solid week now and and in the other vlogs maybe it doesn't show as much but you know if you deal with depression you know you can only hide it for so long and then finally it just becomes bigger than you are and it just totally consumes you and then you just you start to like cave in on yourself and Nothing good comes of that. And even though you know that, you still just have no control over that train of thought. So for whatever this vlog is worth, I hope it helps somebody, whether you know whether to know you're not alone, or whether to know that the only place you kind of feel like you can go from here is up, at least for me. That's what I'm looking forward to and I'm hoping. I hope you guys will keep watching. Maybe things will get a little better in the future. But besides that, I'm human. And I'm just a little bit crazy.